Hello, this is Daily Devotion for Tuesday, October 20th, and our reading comes to us from the book of Job, the 28th chapter, beginning with the 13th verse. Wisdom is not to be found among men. No one knows its true value. The depths of the oceans and seas say that wisdom is not found there. It cannot be bought with silver or gold. The finest gold and jewels cannot equal its value. It is worth more than gold, than a gold vase or finest glass. The value of wisdom is more than coral or crystal or rubies. The finest topaz and the purest gold cannot compare with the value of wisdom. Where then is the source of wisdom? Where can we learn to understand? No living creature can see it, not even a bird in flight. Even death and destruction admit they have heard only rumors. God alone knows the way, knows the place where wisdom is found, because he sees the ends of the earth, sees everything under the sky. When God gave the wind its power and determined the size of the sea, when God decided where the rain would fall and the path of the thunderclouds travel, it was then he saw wisdom and tested its worth. He gave it his approval. God said to men, to be wise, you must have reverence for the Lord. To understand, you must turn from evil. I really don't know how much I could possibly add to that. It's just a beautiful, beautiful passage talking about how valuable, how rare, and how difficult to find in theory that wisdom is. It's a priceless treasure. It's better to be wise than it is to be rich. That's a very consistent theme throughout Scripture. Now, let's be real. It's probably better to be wise and rich, but it's better to be wise than to be rich. And if we have to choose what we're going to seek in life, wisdom is far better than wealth. It is better that we have understanding of God's ways and the world's ways than we have the money to do anything we want or all the treasures in the world, because that will only lead a person to a very bad place eventually. Without wisdom, that treasure, that wealth is kind of worthless. Um, for the car people out there, it's like all the horsepower in the world and no traction. You're not going anywhere. So seek wisdom. Seek God's wisdom and be comforted by it in difficult times. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for the gift of wisdom and for the fact that you bestow it even upon the humble, maybe especially upon the humble, because it is the humble who are most likely to seek you. Help us to value your wisdom more than we value anything in this world. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon.